Welcome back to Blue's Garden. Growing carrots. This year, I planted Danvers 126 carrot. They're a longer carrot, long, straight, thinner carrot. I planted Little Finger, and I planted some Rainbow carrot. Typically, carrots go in the ground a few weeks before. I did them about four weeks before the final frost. I plant them in grow bags in very loose soil. Since they're a root crop, they really want to have a loose, not compacted at all soil. I did have a little bit of damage from something nibbling. Little bunnies in my yard, so they nibble the greens. When I harvest the carrots, and I do it frequently, this is, I might overseed, and then I thin by using them during the course of the year. I wash right before I use them. And if I'm harvesting them for... Uh, long term, I don't wash them. Now, my final, for, uh, my final harvest, uh, you really want to harvest before a hard freeze. And I admit, I'm a little late on this final, uh, final harvest. It is uh, frozen solid inside this last grow bag. I have used all the other grow bags I grew them in. And this final one, the ground was frozen solid. Hopefully the carrot will be fine. I brush off the dirt and I snap off the greens. The greens will end up going right into my compost pile. The greens may sit, but I will, um, I'll use them in the compost pile and then come spring they'll start breaking down. Got a decent harvest all together. Again, when I harvest them, I do not wash them if I'm storing long term. I only wash right before I am using uh, they store better. If you start washing them, you start to lose the uh, skins. I had a total of about 7.1 pounds of Danvers and 4.3 pounds of Littlefinger. I store them in a cool, dark place, a little box. Uh, in between the layers of carrot, I have some brown butcher paper. Please share this video. It really does help me. Thanks. Thanks, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more Blues Garden Tips.